Hi, I'm Charlotte Platt and we're at home in West Sussex. Uh, one of the most important things for me is my saddlery and equipment. Um, we have their backs and saddles checked often and it's a really important thing. Today with me is Jo Dillon, um, my saddle fitter. Hi Charlotte. Okay Charlotte, have you been having any problems with this horse? Um, yeah, she gets quite sore in the back. She's quite a tense, hot horse anyway, so that doesn't help. But what I've had to do recently is put a riser pad on because the saddle slips back and I feel like I'm really pushing her forward with my seat and then my legs are going forward and it's just not working at the moment. But the riser pad has helped, um, but that's for short term, so I really need a saddle fit to her as she's also changed shape. Yeah. Um, I think when I last saw this horse a couple of months ago, she was just coming back into work after some time off. Yeah. So I'm not surprised that your saddle now no, definitely. needs looking at. Um, what I'll do is have a look at her and assess her back and see if I can feel any problems with the saddle. Yeah. Then have a look at the saddle on her and then we'll go from there. Yep. So this is your current saddle that you're using yes. on your horse. And yep. what you've described to me is you just feel like your lower leg's being it, That's exactly forward. it, yeah. Okay. So I just strip everything down and put it on the horse with nothing underneath it. So I'm just looking to see how tight it is around her shoulder. Yeah. Under the panel to make sure that I've got contact all the way along. And that doesn't feel too bad, but the main problem I can see straight away is that the saddle is sitting too yeah, low behind. Yeah, that's it, definitely. And doing this. Yeah. So really you should be sat here on the saddle, so we just need to lift the back up. Yeah. Which is exactly what you've done with the rear riser, which is good. Yeah. However, long term, it's not. I think we need to go again. Definitely. Okay, what I'm going to do is just have a quick look and assess her back um, to see if there's any areas of sensitivity that I think are saddle related. Yeah. Um, once I've done that, then we'll take a template of her um, and assess her current saddle and see if I can make any adjustments to that or whether we need to go for a new one. Yeah. Let's just make sure she's So I think what we need to do with this saddle is actually go for a different shape for her. Yeah. It's the reason I love working with a keep. I'm actually an independent saddle fitter, but I choose to fit this brand because it gives me lots of opportunities to fit different shapes of horses. Yeah. So I'll choose a tree that's a better shape for her, um, and we'll go from there. Definitely, and um, I would also like to take this opportunity to thank you, Keep, um, because I think they're a great brand, and I chose them myself because they're so lovely and the tax great.